In the last video, we looked at the sigmoid unit and derived the error gradient for the sigmoid unit. And we also said that once we have the procedure to compute the error gradient, this can be repeated for other units as well, such as a tan H unit. We have a similar error function. We replace OD with our new function and then compute the error gradient. So once we have the error gradient, then what do we do? We follow the procedure that we built for perceptrons. We use gradient descent. So gradient descent, I want you to recall, is an iterative procedure that learns weights and updates the weights iteratively. Iteratively by updating them using delta w i which we derived as the error gradient right now using this delta w i we update weights in each iteration so the basic procedure for gradient descent will be the same just our delta w y will be different for the sigmoid unit which will use the error gradient which we derived in the last video now that's all well and good and that works for one sigmoid unit it can be extended to other functions but still that will be one unit but we hear so much about neural networks and their great performance and they make news all the time and those neural networks are not just one units right these are the building blocks that we are discussing so far but we are going to now connect those building blocks to form bigger neural networks larger neural networks which are capable of complex prediction tasks so now if you have a multi-layer network of sigmoid units then we need another algorithm to learn the weights and that algorithm is known as back propagation when i say multi-layer networks of sigmoid units this is what i mean we have something that looks like this where this is the input layer this is the output layer and then there is at least one hidden layer so we will derive the weight updates for such an architecture which has one hidden layer an input layer one hidden layer and an output layer which can be extended to multiple hidden layers and we are going to use this basic method to do that so we are going to focus on this architecture and learn how to derive the weight updates and that algorithm is called back propagation and between these layers there will be connections so the connections usually look like this all inputs going to each node in the hidden layer similarly all hidden layers feeding into the output and so on 